In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this really dynamic text animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into the video. So in order to create this effect, we first just want to begin by going to the type tool and typing out a word or a phrase of your choice. So I'm just going to do hello. Then we'll go to the text window and we can change the font. We can change the weight. We can change the size of this. You want to try and keep this quite bold and dynamic. Then we'll place this in the center. We can change the color and then make sure this is in the very, very center because this is really important. So as you can see, this anchor point would mark the very center and you can see it's just below the center. So I'm just going to nudge that up to make sure that is in the center. And I believe that is. Now, in order to create this effect, we are first just going to go to motion, go to scale and we'll increase the scale to a really high number. So that's around 900 in my example. Create a brand new keyframe on scale. Then we're going to go four frames to the right, or maybe five. We'll go five to the right. Pull that down to 90. Then we'll go another four to the right and back up to 100%. So this is what we end up with. So it's really big. It currently feels like it's right in front of the camera lens. And then when we press play, it shoots back and bounces back into place. We'll let it hold there for a very split second. Then we'll create a new keyframe on scale. Go four frames to the right and pull that down to 0%. So when we play this back, you can see drops down, holds there and then disappears. I'm actually going to make that a bit quicker. So I'm going to drag those last keyframes over. Now, in order to make this look a little bit more fluid, I am just going to convert these keyframes to ease in keyframes. And as you can see, that's just smooth things out a little bit. In fact, I'm just going to change this one here to an ease out. There we go. So we can just cut this. And now we have our first line of text and we've done all of the hard work now. So we've created the animation. Now we just need to copy this layer and paste this on with a delay. So in order to do that, we're just going to hold option on the keyboard on Mac or that is Alt on Windows. Drag that up, making sure you don't release option or Alt and that will make a copy. Now, when that starts to animate away, we're going to move that second text layer to the cursor so that we end up with this. So one drops, one comes in. But now we can change the text to your next line. And we're just going to do the same thing again. Option, move over to where this starts to disappear, which is here. And rinse and repeat. If the option and alt method isn't working for you when you drag it up, you can just copy and paste. So you can command C or control C and then command C, command V. Great. So I've got four lines of text. Hello. How are you? And of course, if you wanted to make this more dynamic, then all you could do is just go to one of the lines and just decrease the gap. But just make sure that you move everything back up. So when I play this back, you can see R still hangs there a little bit. So we'll just pull that closer. Go halfway between that movement and drag that back over. Now we'll play this back. You can see that looks a lot more dynamic. But that is the text effect essentially now complete. You can dress this up by putting this on a gradient background or you could maybe change the color of the text. Do what you want with this, but that is the bare bones of the effect now complete. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.